In this video, I'll show you how you can save a lot of time and energy dealing with student issues. I'll help you resolve student issues quickly and easily by showing you how to log in as your student so that you can see exactly what they see. One thing that's important to address before any discussion of logging in as your student is what to do if a student reports that they cannot log in. If the system is telling them that it is an invalid password or other login difficulties. Because this is an issue that you, as the teacher, can resolve right away. In order to address this issue, I'll go to Student Management. I will then click on my student. And from here, I'll click on Student Info and Settings. Here, I can change my student's password. So if my student is telling me that they cannot access the platform, the first thing that I'll do is confirm that the email address that I've written in the student email field is correct. Then I'll try updating their password. And then I'll click Update Student. Now, once this has been updated, I want to test it. So I'll go to the File menu and open a new private window. The reason I'm opening a new private window is because it will be logged out and I won't have any off-to-class cookies on my machine. And I'll log in using the student's credentials. I can see that it worked using the password that I updated. So now all I need to do is make sure that my student is using the correct email address as it's written here and the password which I've just updated. And I know for sure that it works because I've just done it in another window. Anytime a student reports issues with off to class or says that they can't find, see, or do something, the first step to troubleshoot it is to log in as your student. By logging in as your student, you'll be able to see exactly what they see and experience the platform in the exact way that they experience it. Simply go to your student management section and click on the student, and then you can log in as your student. Now I'm taken to my student's account and it will tell me this up here. One way that your student may get confused is if you've enrolled the student into a classroom. Here I have Chris test student enrolled into the IELTS R1 classroom. However, if this is not the first time that I've enrolled the student into the classroom, they might get confused and click on their homework assignment or click on it here in the recent lesson and summary. If the student makes this mistake, then they will see the first slide, but they won't be able to see the slides being changed by the teacher because the student is in control of this summary. If the student tells you that they don't see the slides moving, you can always log in as the student and make sure that they are able to join the lesson. Another common issue is if a student says that they don't receive a link to the placement test. If the student can't find how to access the placement test, you can log in as the student in order to confirm that the test has been assigned. In this case, by logging in as the student, I can see the pink button to start the placement test, and now I can tell my student where to find it. It's much easier and faster to solve your students' problems this way rather than contacting support because often it's impossible to tell what's happening without logging in as your student. Always use the login as your student feature for the fastest and most efficient method at troubleshooting any of your students' issues.